upside it down. Down. Tell me if you feel like that's pulling like kind of up to the lip, down, one on the left side, right side. Do you feel like that's okay? Or do you feel like it's moving more one direction than another, like kind of pinching or pulling? I don't feel like you're pressing or pulling. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so communication will probably be easiest just so you don't have to do that. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down. So we're good. All right, all right. Uh, nose clip. Hold on, put that nose clip on. I started this when we're in the bod pod. So it, it, after a few minutes, it wants to kind of get that sample again. And go ahead and breathe normally. In just a second, you should feel the, uh, the, the treadmill kick on as soon as you feel it engage. Again, go ahead and step on. And it'll be three minute stages, increasing in speed and grade. All right. And here we go. Step on. It'll get going just a little faster, all right, but not much. It's a very simple stage at first. So from left to right across the top and then moving down, you can see the, the time. The next thing is VO2, which is the volume of oxygen consumed, and that's in liters per minute, and we're just right at this, this little guy up here, yep, yep. And then we also have, yeah, and then all the data is displayed down here as well. Uh, metabolic equivalence is, think of that as, that's how many times harder than rest he's working right now. So he's working about 5.7 times harder than rest. The next value is the amount of of uh, carbon dioxide that's being breathed out. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the RER next to that, that indicates what type of fuel he is burning, whether it's carbohydrates or fats. 0.7 is fats. 1.00 is, is uh, basically carbohydrates. And so a 0.85 is right in the middle. So he's roughly, uh, probably 53% carbohydrates. Now it's moving up slightly. It updates every 15 seconds, but probably somewhere about 55, 56, 57% carbohydrates right now. And the, the, the balance is, is fat, essentially. The amount of air, VE is minute ventilation, the amount of air moving in and out of the lungs, and the way you get that number is by multiplying down here the respiratory rate. He's, he's breathing 14 times a minute right now. He's breathing 1.96 liters of air per breath, so 14 times 1.96, now 11 times 2.45 would give you the 26. Mm -hmm. uh, and what you just saw change was he's actually breathing less times per minute, mm -hmm. but he's taking deeper breaths mm -hmm. at this, in this case. The, the fractional component of oxygen, the fractional component of CO2, so he's breathing out 15% oxygen and 5% of the air is, well, 5.21% of the air is carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. uh, the treadmill elevation is 12, treadmill speed is 2.5, and then we get some graphic reports and all kinds of good stuff. Do okay still? All right, there you go. If you want to look at some of these numbers, they've changed a little bit. Yeah. Than we expect them to. <laughs> uh, so now the minute ventilation is higher based on a higher respiratory rate, mm -hmm. and he's breathing in terms of depth, he's breathing a little bit deeper. The RER has changed to reflect moving closer to actually combusting carbohydrates as opposed to, to fats, and that happens during exercise. We move. We move closer to carbohydrates as the exercise intensity increases, mm -hmm. which is why most people say fat burning zone at a lower intensity than yeah. on fats. And so we're about to give him another speed change. You'll see it reflected right here. And three, two, one. All right, we're going to be at 16. Okay, it's it's heading up here. Just made it. We're going to be at 16 and, and four. All right, four point two. All right, you ready? Very good. This is the uncomfortable stage for you. So it's almost like a 
jog, but it's almost like a really fast walk. Like you just kind of just don't go for it. Do the best you can just to get through this guy. Alright? You got a nice job. Okay. 25 seconds left in the stage. We're moving to the next stage. The next stage is really gonna be a challenge. Alright, you've got to work to get up that hill. You really gotta work hard this next stage. Seconds. Great, earn your money right here. Three, two, one. All right. So we change. Now you gotta work hard. Now it's a true job with that hill. Now you gotta really work hard. All right. When you've got nothing left, you feel like you can't go anymore. You're working as hard as you can. Grab on. Grab on the handrails and just step off to the side. Okay. I'll get that gear off you really quick. Oxygen consumed, absolute. Oxygen consumed, relative. Metabolic equivalence, one is rest. So 17.2 means 17 times harder than rest. Mm -hmm. that. The amount of carbon dioxide that your body produced. We consume oxygen. We produce carbon dioxide. So there's the amount of carbon dioxide that was uh, being exhaled every minute. At the end, you were, you were making almost 3.8 liters of oxygen per minute. That's how much, that's how much your body was producing. Okay. Uh, Respiratory rate, how many breaths you're taking per minute, so it looks like beats per minute, but it's breaths per minute. Sure. All right, for respiratory rate. <laughs> um, size of your breath, one liter, two liters, all the way up to almost three liters per breath. So we don't think about the lungs doing that much, but take a two liter, mm -hmm. then take another liter, and every breath you're moving that amount of air. Okay. And I've seen people as high as four, four and a half liters per breath. Wow. But then again, that relates to the size of the chest, all right, the chest cavity, and if you look at the size of your chest, like mm -hmm. you don't you don't have the ability to move nearly as much air as somebody who might be taller but mm -hmm. also more broad chested. So and, and not that anybody's ever been like the, the best breather. Yeah. <laughs> so they're the best athlete. Like that's mm -hmm. I mean we've got to get oxygen in, but no one's like, oh, they're such a good breather, they were just really good at this thing. <laughs> uh, so that doesn't that doesn't play in. And here's your perceived exertion. How hard you rated the activity. Six, eight, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen, associated with this speed and green sure. combination. Alright? So a lot of stuff I just gave you. Your best bet is probably just to sit down, take a look at it, mm -hmm. Google a couple values, all right? I guess to be equal to the search engines, being a couple of these things, mm -hmm. all right? Whatever, whatever you want to check into, and just what does the what does the variable mean? How does it relate to me? Yeah. You know, and here's your here's your heart rate. Sorry, no, I didn't heart rate. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Next, my heart rate got up to 195. All right. Initial questions here? No, I explained a whole lot. No, the conversion number is really helpful too. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. th those numbers are actually next to each other in the columns. Yeah. Just absolute VO2, relative VO2. Mm -hmm. And you can see them converted across. And if you really want to know the truth, if you take your relative VO2, mm -hmm. like we'll say it's a 60, yeah. and you divide it by 3.5, mm -hmm. this actually gives you METs. Okay. So when you see METs on there, you take your absolute VO2, convert it to relative VO2, take relative VO2 divided by 3.5, and there's your 
metabolic equivalents. Okay. So your 17.2 was the highest you got mm -hmm. times 3.5 will give you right around 60, gotcha. which was your relative year two. Yeah. And you can convert that back into your absolute, which was 3.13. Okay. So that is actually telling me the exact same information. Huh. And I can just kind of interconvert, whereas most people would say, oh, those are three neat pieces. Well, they're mm -hmm. all the same, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. You feeling okay? I'm feeling a lot better. Get yeah, some more water? Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right.